In looking for Pythagoras problem 3.3, now that we have the Pythagorean theorem pretty well proven, we can use it, we should be able to use it to find the length of any line or line segment. So from k to l, from m to n, from p to q, finding distances between points is really the purpose of the Pythagorean theorem. So as I go to solve problems using the Pythagorean theorem, I am going to want to be able to make right triangles out of any line segment. Anytime I have a line segment, I want to turn it into a right triangle. So if I look at this K to L, and I think of it as a right triangle, I really don't need to draw squares anymore. I just need to know side lengths of right triangles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the side length, and 2 is the side length. So if those are the side lengths and I actually drew the square out here, it would be 5 squared, or 25. If I drew the square on this side, it would be 2 squared, or 4. And according to the Pythagorean theorem, now I don't really have to draw this third square. I know that if I take these two lengths, 25 areas, 25 and 4, the area of the square that would be on this side, a squared in a sense. So if I take, think of a squared, if this is a, and if this is b, it doesn't really matter which one's a or b, but if this is b, and I take b squared, then I should be able to add the two together and know that 25 plus 4 is 29, which is actually c squared. It's the third side or the hypotenuse area. So if I actually drew the square out here, it would be 29 units, which means from k to l has to be the square root of 29, because if I know the area of the square, I know the length of the side is the square root of that area. And so I can do that with any of these, should be able to, if we now believe that the Pythagorean theorem will always work for us in terms of finding the hypotenuse length or the that side length of a right triangle. And part of the key is making sure I understand that these are leg lengths, one, two, three, four. So if I call this A, then A squared is 16. And if I call this one, two, three, B is three, then B squared is three squared, which is nine. Then, if the Pythagorean theorem is true, if there was a square out here whose area is 16 and a square over here whose area is 9, those two squares' areas should add up to 16 plus 9, which is 25, which is c squared. It's the area of the square of the hypotenuse, which means the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 25, which is actually 5 units long. So this would actually be 5 units, 3, 4, and 5 are the side lengths of that triangle. And again, continuing on, so the idea now is finding the side lengths of a right triangle actually give me the hypotenuse length. So if I look at this side and could call this A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so A is 6, so A squared is 6 squared, which is 36. That would be the area of the square of this side of the triangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B is 5. So these are my A and B sides of the right triangle, right angle there. So B squared, the square of the area, if I were to draw out here, is 5 squared, or 25. And so when I if I were to draw this square out here, which is a really big square, and it would be a lot of work to try to figure out the area of it, but I don't need to anymore because the Pythagorean theorem now says that if I take the area of this square plus the area of this square, if I were to draw those, 36 plus 25 equals 61. That would be the area of that square on that side. That's the C squared square of the triangle which means the c length, the hypotenuse length, is the square root of 61. So that's how long that part is. 
The square root of 61 is, is a little less than 8 long, so we see 5, 6, and about 8 across this way. And so we just use this root, square root number to help us with that. Now, the nice thing about having the Pythagorean theorem is that it also allows me to find dots that are specific distances apart. So if I wanted to find two points or dots that are exactly the square root of 13 apart on here, and it might be like, well, how do I know how far the square root of 13 is? Well, if I could find a triangle whose hypotenuse area was 13, so I need a square whose area is 13, then I would know that the side length of that square is the square root of 13, which means I need to find a triangle whose two legs area squared add up to 13, which means I need numbers like this. I need 1 squared, which is 1, or 2 squared, which is 4, or 3 squared, which is 9, or 4 squared, which is 16. Now, I, I've actually gone far enough at this point because I'm looking for numbers here that add up to 13 because I'd have to square legs. These would be leg lengths, and these would be areas. And so if I had a leg 1, its area would be 1. If I had a leg 2, long, a 2 squared would be 4. And a leg 3, 3 squared would be 9. A leg 4, 4 squared would be 16. And it takes two legs added together to make this 13. So I know that 9 and 4 makes 13. So if I had a triangle who had a leg 2 and a leg 3, so let's try that. A leg 2 and a leg 3. then this hypotenuse length right here, this from here to here, should be the square root of 13. Now, I can prove it's the square root of 13 because the leg length 2, 2 squared, is 4. The area of the square on this side would be 4. 3, leg length 3, 3 squared would be 9. And that means 9 plus 4 equals 13 and that's 13 is, this was A, A is 2, and B is 3, A squared is 4, B squared is 9, so C squared, so the A squared plus B squared, 4 plus 9 equals 13, A squared plus B squared equals c squared. So c squared equals 13, so that means c has to be the square root of 13, which means from here to here must be the square root of 13 long. And so now I can actually use the Pythagorean theorem in some ways to actually find points that are specific distances apart, as opposed to just finding lengths of lines between dots. And that's one of the uses of the Pythagorean Theorem in another way, just using it in various ways to find lengths or distances between points, any point on here. So ultimately, now we have a tool where I could pick any two points on this dot paper. For instance, I could say, how far is it from this dot to this dot right here? So I want to know how far that distance is. And so if I want to know how far that distance was from there to there, I could now turn into a right triangle. And I could say 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4. That's A is 4. 1, 2, 3. B is 3. So A squared is 16. B squared is 9. And so A squared plus B squared equals c squared, so 16 plus 9 equals 25, so c squared is 25, so that means c, this length, is the square root of 25, or 5 in this case, because I know what the square root of 25 is. And again, any two points, any two dots can be found using the Pythagorean theorem now to find the distance between any two points.